Hello every comic book fan out there, it is me, and nerd, nerdettes, and noobs. Hello, it's me. Um, today I have something that goes along with my collection, and kind of of my love of things. I bought her, um, if y'all watch doll hunting slash toy hunting with me, uh, episode 3, where I go to the mall, the same that I got cedar wood. I have a game store in my mall that is like privately owned and it's like a vintage game store. Like I bought my brothers a GameCube for like 30 bucks plus a game and a controller and all that good stuff. So uh, they had a little bargain bin sitting on their counter last time I went to the mall and they had this doll in there. Yes, it's a doll. And I was like, if she's there next time I come, I'll get her. Because she's creepy, but I'm not too sure if I want her. Well, she was here, at, again, when I was at the mall. And I decided to get her, because she was still there, same one. And, uh, she's really creepy and really cool. She is Wonder Woman! <laughs> She's like one of those dolls that like their eyes can close and stuff. But uh, her box is ripped, so they had her for fifty percent off. So I got her for seven dollars instead of fourteen. Um, warning: small choking hazard. Um, DC Comics superhero dolls, series one. I don't know when these were made. I don't know. Let's see if it says in the bottom. Two thousand thirteen. So not too long ago. Um, Wonder Woman is a warrior princess with awesome powers, including superhuman strength, speed, stamina, and flight. She uses her golden lasso to make people tell the truth, her indestructible bracelets to deflect bullets, and her tiara as a boomerang. She even has an invisible plane. That's what the back says. If you don't believe me, here you are. On the side, it shows you all the dolls that you could get. There's Batgirl, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, and Catwoman. And she has the doll, and the tiara, and the cape that can be removed, and a lasso. So, how about we open her up? Because I'm going to just display her. I'm not going to keep her in her box. It's not invisible. So therefore, it must come out of the box. Wee! <laughs> oh, there's her lasso. It was hiding behind her, uh, her cape. Wee! I'm done doing her twisty ties on her legs. She's put in with, uh, let's see, about six or five or six twisty ties that I can visibly see. And there's tape covering the This is like something I would find at a flea market and I would buy. <laughs> Isn't she creepy though? She's super creepy, but I like her. I don't, I don't know why. Wonder Woman's not even one of my favorite females, but I couldn't just leave her there with her box ripped because I don't think anybody was gonna give her love. That made me sad. I'll give her love, even if she isn't my favorite female. I prefer female villains in comic books over most females in DC. I prefer Marvel females, but Wonder Woman is a very, very, very cool superhero female. She was possibly one of the first. Don't kill me if I get that wrong. I'm not too big of a DC fan. I'm more of a Marvel person. So I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure she was one of the first females, wasn't she? 
I'm not saying she was the first, I'm just saying one of the first. Um. <laughs> Goodness gravy, Super Want. <laughs> she has even more twisty ties inside this little plastic thing on her back. I was like, why can't I get her feet off? Now I know why. Alright, so she's out of the box. Her head makes that little rattly sound. Her hair's a little weird, but I kind of like it weird. <laughs> um, here's her tiara. It can come off. And then you just put it on her head. Oh, I put it in sideways. She's got like that upturned eyebrow. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Her cape can come off. It's just a little velcro over here. I'll probably keep her cape on for now until given a reason to take it off. And then she has stars and bordering the bottom. Her arms can move, so I can pose her. So she's like dun da da da, da 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 da. <laughs> Here's her little outfit. She's got the eagle and then the spandexy tights. Her little feet. She has little holes in her feet. Like you could put her on a stand, maybe. Hmm. I'll have to see what I can do. But can y'all see this? She has like those fakey dolly eyelashes. And eyes that can close if you lay her down. I always liked those dolls when I was little. But they creep me out at the same time. Um. And I got her lasso of truth here. Do, 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 do. Is that is that Superman? Is that Wonder Woman? I don't know. <laughs> As I said, I'm a Marvel fan girl. I'm not too much into DC. Um, here's her lasso. Dun, 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 dun. I'll probably display her like this. I kind of like that position for her. But see, she has like this. Dolly hair, and I think she was a perfect little buy for seven dollars. I didn't really care if her box was ripped, I was gonna open her up anyway. So it was more of a deal for me than a collector that wouldn't want the doll ripped. What color are her eyes? They're almost they're like a super dark blue. You can see them better on camera that they're blue in real life, they're not that bright. But yeah, here is my Wonder Woman collector doll, and she's pretty tiny. She's, here's my hand for size comparison, and I think she's adorable. I like weird dolls. She goes and fits the description. Alrighty then, guys, I shall see y'all in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye. Da 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 da.